Using a DAW's external instrument plugin is by far the most elegant way to incorporate sequenced external hardware into your productions. Let's see how this works in Ableton Live. First of all, you need to ensure that the MIDI outputs and audio inputs that you're going to use are activated. This can be done using the audio and MIDI sync tabs in Live's preferences menu. In the audio tab, open the inputs config menu and ensure that any physical audio inputs you want to use are selected. In the MIDI sync tab, Set the track button for the MIDI output you want to use to on. You only need to activate the track button for the MIDI input if you intend to use the external instrument as a MIDI controller too. Next you need to make sure that the MIDI output from your audio interface is connected to the external instrument's MIDI input and that the output of your external instrument is connected to your audio interface's audio input. Now add the external instrument plugin to a MIDI track. This plugin needs to be set up correctly before you can actually play the instrument. Select the first drop down menu in the MIDI 2 section. This is where you select the MIDI interface that's connected to the external instrument. In the menu under that, select the MIDI channel that you want to send on. Once you've set these up correctly, you can send MIDI data to the instrument and you should see its MIDI input light, if it has one, flashing when you play notes with Live's virtual keyboard or send sequenced MIDI notes. Now set the audio from drop down menu to the inputs that the instrument's audio outs are plugged into. Now you should be able to play the instrument from Live's virtual keyboard and hear the results too. If the signal is too quiet, you can boost it using the gain knob on the right. If you can't hear anything, ensure the instrument's volume is turned up, it's set to receive on the correct MIDI channel, and that all the cables are plugged in correctly. You can now use the MIDI channel to sequence a part with the instrument, and as the plugin automatically deals with latency, you don't have to worry about adjusting the track delay to ensure the timing is correct. <laughs> When you export audio from the project, Live will do this in real time, catching the audio from the instrument as it goes. Alternatively, you can manually bounce the part by adding a new audio track, setting its input to the external instrument track's output, and recording it. You can then disable the MIDI track.